Bengaluru, the city often called the heart in India's tech revolution, has added a new feather to its cap. Known globally as the country's startup hub, the city is now home to a breakthrough in defense technology, Kala Bhairav, India's first AI-powered combat drone, designed and built by Bengaluru's based Flying Wedge Defense and Aerospace, FWDA. The aircraft can fly for 30 long hours without stopping and can cover a distance of 3,000 kilometers. What sets Karl Bhairav apart is just not power, but its affordability. Losing a foreign-made Predator drone can cost nearly 1,000 crore rupees, but the same investment can fund an entire fleet of Karl Bhairavs. That means no single setback can cripple a mission. For India's armed forces, this is more than an advanced hardware. It's a promise of independence. With 80 percentages of indigenous technology, the drone avoids risk like hidden kill switches or foreign controlled data routing. All intelligence stays secure within India's own system. And the world is already taking notice a South Asian nation has signed a $25 million order, part of a $30 million deal, making Kala Bhairav not only a symbol of self reliance but also India's rise as global defense exporter. From the innovation corridors of Bengaluru to international battlefields, Kala Bhairav reflects Atmanirbhar Bharat in action proving that India can not only build for itself, but also lead the future of AI-powered warfare. TN Suhas Tejaskanda, the founder and CEO, and Prajwal Bhatt, CTO and co-founder of the Flying Wedge Defense and Aerospace, spoke exclusively to Daily Salar, giving a live demonstration of the Kala Bhairav, India's first AI combat drone. with uh, FWD Karl Bhairav, uh, guardian of uh, Indian skies, beyond time. Why we named it beyond time is this can be in air for up to 30 hours straight. That's the endurance we're talking about. This is a complete compact platform that uh, can go up to a 3000 kilometer range uh, with a SATCOM uh, optional capability that we have and a line of sight communication of about 150 kilometers. At the same time, this can carry electro-optical infrared payloads and some bombs like light bombs, dumb bombs, missiles, laser guided rockets uh, or any uh, such uh, ammunition platforms that it can take. And uh, compared to what uh, the Reaper and other platforms provide you, this is just a one tenth of the cost. And uh, looking at the vulnerability, right, you know, imagine the pain of losing a thousand crore aircraft, right, that's where this comes into picture where and when it comes to the precision, the precision is so much that, you know, when I put it in swarm, I tend to 20 aircrafts ko swarm mein agar if I'm sending it on the enemy territory, enemy air defense ke cost zada bad jayegi isse. So financially we are beating them. At the same time, ek jo reaper ya ek jo predator uh, precisely hit kar sakti hai, usse zada precision to 20 mein hoga. And that's obvious. And I can field 10 of my bairaus against one predator or a reaper. That's the concept that we have come up with. And dusra cheez hai ke kill switch, right? Because most of uh, the countries, they operate on, since they operate on SATCOM for these rangers, uh, we have left with no option but buying them. But imagine, you know, every mission that our armed forces are doing, somewhere there CIA is looking in a remote video terminal. And that is not safe. Entire data is compromised in that uh, matter. And at the same time, US comes with a record of not supporting us during any conflict, right? We have seen Kargil, we have seen in 71, we have So, in that sense, if this we will not when during the crisis. That will be the disaster after paying a thousand crore for each aircraft. That is when locally made, completely indigenous aircraft will be mass manufactured in India. Ko, uh, help sakta hai and uh, serve. Kar sakta hai. So, I will take you uh, through the uh, entire system. So, starting with the main, uh, when we are doing AI based systems, camera is like the eyes. So, the camera is again made in India from our partner named Tombo. So once the camera feed is taken, there is an AI processor which is uh, running all the uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms that will be able to detect the target and then take decision what it should be doing. So we already pre-programmed them. Let's say you go to so and so location, you are seeing an airfield, then you have to take down an aircraft over there. So all of that is already pre-fed. So the AI on 
enabled uh, you know processor is capable of taking all these decisions and then once you are in that vicinity so now how do we go there communication aspect so there is one satcom satellite communication if not there is always geo uh, location based uh, you know navigation and we have something called inertial navigation let's say if there are jammers electronic warfare which is picking up there is your gps is jammed your electronic uh, communication is jammed all of that you have antennas for the same so inertial navigation system provides you uh, you know that calculation relative to your uh, current position to where you have to be and once you have going to that particular location all the payloads you know it may be a dumb bombs or it may be a guided missiles or it can be a laser guided rockets so various options which can be retrofit all of that will hit the target with accuracy of 2 meters so that's the precision that it's having 2 meter uh, accuracy which we have demonstrated in rashia rifles in various other platforms as well which we are undergoing several uh, trials with this now the point where we are waiting for is the explosive license so now uh, because having a explosive license is not easy in india you need to have a 2 km by 2 km land so we are talking to various governments for having a bigger land so where we can have our own runway we can do our own testings and all of that so we are in process of it and soon uh, you know all the semilac certifications that are required we will be uh, having that in place in coming uh, months if not years